Hi, Twitch. I'm Am Grabelnia. I am a senior partner solutions architect here at AWS. I'm standing here with Colm McCarte. Got it. All right. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Colm. Uh, I'm a senior principal engineer. I work on EC2 and networking and cryptography at AWS. Been here about 12 years. The, the serious stuff is what I like to call it. The serious stuff in, in development, I, for me at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not talking about that stuff today, no. We're talking about uh, a really exciting uh, new launch, the Amazon Builders Library, right? What is the Amazon Builders Library? Yeah, so this morning Werner announced it, and uh, we're, we're going to be sharing articles directly from uh, experts here at AWS, people like me and other principal engineers and technical leaders, about uh, patterns and lessons we've learned, you know, things, how we manage enormous scale, how we uh, manage things elastically, how we do failover, uh, how we do routing, all sorts of things, and we're making them available for customers or anybody who's interested to, uh, to learn. So, you know, I know we're a book company, right? Uh, but we're also kind of known for building lots and lots of software, and we've learned a lot while doing that. And, and that's really what we're trying to share with this builder's library. What are some of the topics that, that are covered in, in this new builder library? Yeah, so we, we have about 25 years history at this point uh, of building at these kinds of scales. And, and the topics we're covering are things like fault tolerance, you know, how to build a system that has like the right amount of retries in it so that when a small problem happens, a retry can help you with that. But when a large problem happens, retries don't make it worse by showing up with lots and lots of extra load. And these are, you know, nuanced topics that are hard to get right, and we've got a lot of experience with them. So it's exciting to share. So rumor has it that you've written some articles. Uh, you want to tell us about uh, what you've written? Yeah, my, my first article's up already. It's about shuffle sharding, which is this, this technique we use to manage multi-tenancy, which just means you know we host lots and lots of customers, but we want to make sure that you know one customer who has a bad day can't make everybody else have a bad day. And so it's about how we isolate customers from one another. Uh, it's kind of a go-to pattern we use in lots of places. And now you know we've got this guide out there for how it actually works under the hood. And uh, we were talking earlier about some of the uh, the, the real services that, that have utilized this in the past. Can, can you share with us uh, where this was first used in, in AWS? Yeah, so we built shuffle sharding when we were building the Amazon Route 53 service. Uh, so that's our DNS service. And DNS has this really hard problem that it has to cope with DDoS attacks. And we never wanted all of our DNS customers to have a bad day just because one customer suffered from a DDoS. Uh, and so we, we really refined this technique and came up with a way to make sure that you know, we, could, we could have an incredibly reliable system that would have extremely small amounts of impact, you know, measured in one trillionth of, of kind of the entire service uh, if, if that kind of event were ever to happen. And it's been a real success for us, and so we're really happy to share it. Yeah, I think uh, particularly your article, uh, I work with a lot of companies that are building SaaS uh, platforms, right, or, or SaaS applications, and multi-tenancy is a huge issue. And how do I build with these types of things? And I think, you know, shuffle sharding would be hugely beneficial. Do you, do you see that kind of in, in the SaaS space as as a common thread, like like I've kind of experienced? Yeah, more and more of our partners are now themselves uh, services that have lots and lots of customers themselves, and want to and want to make sure that their customers have have a have a good day. And um, so they're definitely applicable. But even if you don't have lots and lots of customers, you might have lots and lots of resources or other things that are worth isolating. And those, those techniques still apply and are still really, really useful. They're very general purpose. So any advice for somebody who, who's just getting started with the, the builder library? Where, where should I go? What should I do? What should I read first? Other than, obviously, your article, right? Start with Column's article first. That's my recommendation. What are, what are your recommendations? Um, I think they're all good. I don't. I don't want to pick a favorite, but uh, we started with about a dozen. So it's it's really easy. Just set some time. You know, search for the builders library on on the AWS website, and um, each article. You know, you can get through it in in you know ten or twenty minutes. Uh, they're really you know easy and digestible to read. We've put a lot of time on on trying to make things as as easy to understand and as explainable as possible. Um, and 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 you know, pick and choose depending on what speaks to your interests to start with. Colm, thank you so much for joining us, uh, and we'll be back with more.